Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. I hope you're all doing well today. Before we get going, I just want to wish a couple friends happy birthdays. First of all, David F., who I think lives in North Carolina, USA, happy birthday to you. And also, Bella P., who I think lives in Fort Mill, South Carolina, USA, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to the both of you, wherever you're actually living. <laughs> and uh, to anyone else having a birthday today, happy birthday to you. And let's all just have a great day today. Uh, happy Tincture Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Do your tincture. Get your tolerance up there or keep your tolerance up there. Either way. Um, we have another tincture. We're kind of re-reviewing this tincture. It's been reviewed once and the recipe hasn't been changed. But um, this is a, a um, the Scoville unit tincture. And um, the story behind this one is it was originally a collaboration project between Late for Work and Scoville Unit. I'll tell you which one it is. It's Late for Scoville 2.0. So, um, this version has been bottled totally by Chris Fergali and maybe Beth. I should really clarify with them if um, the Scoville Unit, if all of these tinctures, if Beth is doing this stuff too, um, creating them, or if this is Chris's stuff and Beth is the co-host. I'm not really sure about that, to be honest. I really should talk more with these people <laughs> and uh, figure out how this stuff is actually coming to be. Um, the first version, yeah, Jason, I think, bought, yeah, Jason bottled the first version. It's the same recipe now, but the, I guess the recipe from what I understand is Reaper, Scorpion, and Habanero peppers with two secret ingredients. So you could call them spices, you know, they like to say that on ingredients lists as spices, um, to increase the flavor and the burn. So, um, I really like, it's a redesigned label. I, and again, I don't know, I don't know who the, the bearded mohawk is supposed to represent. I'm not 100% sure about that. I know that that is the Scoville unit logo and he has incorporated the late for work Heart Puzzle Autism Awareness logo there. It's kind of hard to see because... There we go. Um, but yeah, I like the new label. Same recipe. Let's get into it. Let's open this up. I actually still have a little bit of the first version. I'll show you the old label, what we have here. I really like this label too. This one catches my eye a lot more because it's a white background. But I really do like the artwork and the colors and how this is all put together. Um, Looks like this is a bub bubble jet printed label. I'm not 100% sure. It just has that matte finish to it. And this one has that gloss finish. So uh, let's open this one up. Actually, let's give it a shaky shake first. Now let's open it up. And this has the, uh, the child safety seal thing on it. So you got to push down when you open it. And there we go. The ring just cracked off of there. I didn't even hear it snap actually, to be honest. Whew, almost made me have to sneeze. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to be hot. The first version was, and it's the same recipe, so. I couldn't see them making it more mellow. Um, so let's grab a squeeze of this. Beautiful, clear complexion to it. Nice golden brown color. I seem to remember the, uh, the version 1 had a really nice golden brown color like that too. And yeah, very clear complexion. No floaties or anything in there. Really nice looking tincture. Let's give this a try. So I guess this is now just a Scoville unit tincture. It's no longer a collaboration. I guess you still consider it a collaboration project because they, they came up with it together. They worked together on it. So yeah, let's go with that. From Late for Work and the Scoville unit, this is Late for Scoville version 2.0. Uh, heat my shorts. Happy Tincture Tuesday. Do your tincture. Get your tolerance up there. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Yeah, that's really nice. It's really smooth. And yeah, it has that kind of smoked seasoning salt kind of a taste to it as well. I really like this tincture. I think I got this tincture as a promotion. I think 
I think if you order a certain amount of things at one point, they threw it in for free or something like that. I forget how it works. But I believe this was a freebie. I believe this was a, a thank you item. That's really good. I was expecting a higher heat, but I did, you know, I've been hitting the tincture pretty hard actually and eating pods again. Okay, it's climbing. Yeah, it is climbing. Initially, I think I was at a two, but I think it's definitely climbed up to a three now. I can feel it down in the chest. It's definitely warming up my chest. Um, mostly burning the entire tongue and the back of the throat, very back of the throat, mostly. Well, a little bit in the gums is creeping in now, the upper gums, starting to sweat now. Yeah, here comes the sweats. Three out of 10, maybe even climbing up to a four now. Let's have a hangout with Maggie while we let this burn set in. See, she's taken up most of the couch again. I guess I'll have to remove the pillow. Oh yeah. You're so cute, Maggie. You're such a good girl. She's feeling a lot better. She slept through the entire night last night. She didn't need to go outside once. Um, she ate her dinner last night. She's doing a lot better. So thank you all for the well wishes, the healing vibes, the prayers, whatever you've been sending out. I love your pos positivity. Tummy rubs, ear scratches, all that good stuff. It helps. Right, Maggie? It helps. Yeah. So anyways, yeah. I think it's basically leveled off now. Four out of ten. Leveled off at a four out of ten. Started at a two. Interesting. You're a good girl, Maggie. Just a quick hangout. Put this back here. Um, yeah. From what I remember, it's not much of a different tincture. I mean, I, I'm told it's not a different tincture. I'm not gonna do a comparison. I'm not doing that because it's the same stuff. It's probably, this one's probably hotter because it's older and more evaporated. I used it recently. It's a delicious tincture still. Now I got a fresh bottle. So anyways, um, do I recommend Late for Scoville? Definitely, absolutely. It's a savory, salty, smoky tincture with a good heat, a building heat. Um, I recommend it for tolerance builder, food additive. Um, yeah, put this in all sorts of burgers and hot dogs and put it on a steak, maybe if you're, if that doesn't offend you. <laughs> um, pastas, sandwiches, all sorts of things. This is a really good savory tincture. I recommend it and I would restock it, but I think it might be, um, finished for now again. I think version two might be sold out. You might have to wait for a version three. Um, but I would restock it. I would recommend it and I would restock it. Um, it was available on lateforworkyoutube.com, but I don't think it is anymore. They have all sorts of tinctures there. You can also contact Chris Fergali at the Scoville unit. I wish I could find the business card. He gave me a business card. Uh, him and Beth sent me a business card in that unboxing video. You may, may have seen it, but I can't find it. Um, <laughs> but oh well, um, I will leave their links in the description box down below and I'll leave an end screen for them for sure. Um, so let's do that. Let's wrap this video up here. Um, in this corner, you'll see our Heat My Shorts logo. Click that button, click that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, click all so you get the notifications. In this corner, the Scoville unit. Hop over there, give him a subscribe, them, give them a subscribe, keep an eye on that channel. World record holder right there. And up here, two playlists for you to enjoy. Happy Tincture Tuesday. Do your tincture, get your tolerance up there. Love you all. We'll hang out again soon, I promise. This has been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve, The Maggie Show. Bye-bye.